There are 1.2 million households in the North East that we take sewage from, from sinks, from kitchens, from roofs and roads, uh, to bring to our treatment works to make sure that the effluent is treated and put back into the environment in a safe way. We also take effluent from about 100,000 commercial properties, things like it could be abattoirs, it could be pubs and clubs and schools, etc. So all of that comes to our sewage treatment works through about 15,000 kilometres of sewers and it arrives at places like here at Barker's Hof. So coming from all of our domestic customers and commercial customers that we treat effluent from, this is what actually comes in to a sewage treatment works typically every single hour of every single day of the year. And we have to treat that and make it safe to go back into the natural water environment, which clearly it can't go in like that. We're bringing in wastewater from 1.2 million households and all those commercial properties. On top of that, we're collecting rainwater as well that comes into our combined sewer networks. All this is brought into the inlet to a sewage treatment works. From there, it's collected into one central point and then taken through a series of channels to deliver it to the first stage of treatment, which is the preliminary treatment. So the screening process is basically a very fine sieve and the effluent hits it and any matter that's captured on the screens other than natural matter that goes down typically toilets is taken out and compact them into a very dry mass that can be removed to landfill. The effluent is then passed through to another stage which is grit removal. Grit removal means passing it through a tank where the grit simply settles to the bottom, is scraped out and is removed and separated and cleaned and taken to a landfill site. And that means that the effluent is then the right condition to send to our primary treatment at the first stage of process. It's a very simple process, it's based upon settlement. We have very large settlement tanks where the incoming effluent and the solids that are heavy organic matter in there settle to the bottom of the tank and the cleaner effluent goes out through the top of the tank through launders where you'll see water coming over the top that's cleaner coming out than it was going in. The second stage of treatment then is biological treatment where effluent comes out through these arms is spread evenly across a bed of slag or stone and within that stone are billions and billions of bacteria that breaks it down, takes out the polluting matter and we get much cleaner water going through. After that, there's yet another stage of treatment, which is final settlement. You'll find that the effluent is much, much cleaner to look at and often a tertiary stage or fourth stage, which then relies upon something like either reed bed treatment, where we use natural reeds to pass water through or the final effluent through that gets a final polishing and takes things like ammonia out or it might even go through ultraviolet treatment like a real sunbed treatment where what we do is we reduce the bacterial load in that effluent significantly by zapping it with ultraviolet light. And typically our sewage treatment works come in all shapes and sizes. Mostly each community has its own local sewage treatment works and these can vary in size from a works dealing with perhaps 50 or 60 properties to our very largest ones at the likes of Howden on Tyneside where we deal with over a million population from the surrounding conurbations. Um, so clearly the technology on site varies enormously although the fundamentals are exactly the same. Inevitably when we're dealing with the raw product that we are that we do sometimes get smells from our processes. Uh, this is particularly a pro problem in built up areas or even large city centres. In those examples, we actually have to make sure that we collect all the orders coming off the different processes and treat them. So what we do is all of the machinery on site is covered over. We collect the air from around those processes and we put it through a scrubbing system so that the air itself does not smell around the sewage treatment works. We have lots of automation on some of our bigger sites as well that are tracking the process through from beginning to end. But ultimately, we're taking a sample of the final effluent and our laboratories are regularly testing that to make sure it com complies with the standards that are set by the Environment Agency to make sure it's safe to transfer back into the water environment. Our largest domestic treatment site is at Howden, which is about a million population. But if you think of the impact that industrial effluents have on us, if you go down to Brandsands on Teesside, the population there is only about a third of that. However, the equivalent load in polluting terms is double it, just because this industrial effluent is much, much stronger than it is from domestic sewage. So therefore, we have to apply different techniques there, but the fundamentals are still very much the same where we're relying upon bacteria to break down polluting matter to make sure it's removed before the water goes back to the environment again. So every one of our sewage treatment works has a byproduct, which is sludge. And this is all the solid matter that we're removing from the primary settlement tanks 
uh, in particular, but also some of our biological secondary treatment processes. And that sludge is collected together and taken to two regional centres. One of those is at Brand Sands, and on that site at Brand Sands, we've actually just built a brand new plant costing us £35 million. And it's based upon advanced anaerobic digestion. And this is really to generate green power. We're taking large volumes of sludge from all of our works in the southern part of our region, taking it to this one central point, so that when that sludge is put into this digestion process, the bugs in there break down the polluting matter and convert it into methane. We can then take those large volumes of methane put them through gas engines and generate our own electricity and heat on the site. So that's a really green solution to a natural product in the first place which is the sewage sludge. On Tyneside at Howden we're building a similar sized plant, a replica of the plant at Brand Sands and that again will take the rest of the sludge from our region so we'll have two of the largest advanced anaerobic digestion plants in the UK in our area treating our sludge and producing this green energy and that's equivalent to something like nine megawatts of energy from those two plants when the second one's commissioned next year. Uh, we do work in partnership um, in some of these areas and one in particular at Berkeley with our reed bed plant there that we work jointly with the coal authority come up with a scheme that takes mine water risings that were causing pollution problems for the coal authority and put that mixed product through a reed bed which gives a really really good quality effluent that goes back into the river then. Every one of our sewage treatment works and there are over 400 of those has its own consent which measures how much pollution we have to remove from the raw sewage coming in to make sure it's fit to go back into the water environment and that would vary from a very small stream to a river or an estuary or even directly into the North Sea so it's really important that we do that properly and in line with those consents because that ensures that we're putting the water back into the environment in a very safe and secure manner that means that our customers in this region can enjoy the natural environment whether they be fishing, walking or swimming in the sea. So at the beginning of the effluent treatment processes this is what we begin with. When we've been through our processes typically this is what we finish off with. A much much cleaner product that has no polluting matter in it that's going to harm the environment and it's perfectly safe to be returned to the environment. And Northumbrian Water last year had the best performance of all the water industry for sewage effluent treatment.